What is going on guys? It is your boy character Gaming here and I'm coming at you unscripted. Just, I wanted to talk about Orange. The Orange Doom. And just the state of War Thunder at the moment. Because it, it, he made a video stating that he's pretty much just packing up and leaving War Thunder. Um, you know, he's leaving the game, no pun intended. He has his reasons and to me, some of them are justifiable, highly justifiable, because at the end of the day, your your own personal health is is more important than, than content, you know. H having said that, it, it just confuses me that someone so driven, so hardworking would just, you know, give up like that. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but, I don't know, it just, it just sort of confuses me. Having said that, when something is no longer fun, you want to walk away from it, and that's completely understandable. Now, I'm only fresh to all this. He, he's have, he's been on here for years. Like he has 45,000 subscribers at the moment, and you know he was he was growing quite steadily too. Um, but like I said, if you don't enjoy the content, if you don't have that drive for making videos and things like that, and that's that's one of the things he was talking about mainly. Um, he hasn't enjoyed the game since 1.69. The, um, the patch that came after that, I think, was when the cast got nerfed into the ground, and... Yeah. The, the state of the game was, you know, pretty much unchanged for years, mind you. And I can understand what he's saying. The game itself was completely, sort of, it was reliable. See, with World of Tanks, there was always something new coming. There was always changes and things like that. And War Thunder sort of remained a constant. That had vehicles here and there, but it was pretty constant. And then, sort of, I feel like in the past year, the game has just changed so much. The meta is constantly changing, shells just completely stop working. One change will affect an entire line of vehicles. Like, to me, that's incredible. And, you know, sometimes I don't know how to feel about certain things. Like, on one hand, I do enjoy that Gaijin is doing a lot better than they used to. I like how the game is just getting so much more developed than before, however, it's missing an element that Orange touches on, and it's community. The game used to have this thriving community that used to help each other out and, you know, give advice, recommend ways to fly planes, and it was honestly, it was competitive and it was fun. And now, like, it's not even close to that anymore. And the toxicity has sort of gone down, I feel like, as well. However, I, I did have one... Uh, let's call him the social justice pilot. I was flying in an F-84B. And I went after an Arado. Not the cannon Arado. Just the regular bomber version Arado. And I was shot down by an allied P-80. This guy, his name was Six... His, his clan tag was 6, I think, his squadron, and his name was Kalux, and he shot me down, team killed me, because I went for an Arado at the beginning of the game before he dropped his bombs. Mind you, as soon as I went after him, he did end up just dumping his ordnance anyway. And the reason was that I was shot down was because I went after an Arado, and it's not fair on the Arado. He was like, oh, there's an unspoken rule, don't you know? The, the Arados, you're not supposed to go after the Arados until, you know. And, and to me, I was like, one, I've never heard of this rule, ever. Two, it, it's not actually a rule. I can kill whatever the fuck I want that's on the enemy team. If I see it, I'm going after it. I'm literally in a jet interceptor. I start with an air spawn. My job is to counter them because, hey, guess what? You know, you can just let the bombers go. Just let the Arados go. Like, I've never seen anyone defend a bomber. I thought bombers were unilaterally hated. But no, this guy actually went out of his way and team killed me because I went after a bomber at the beginning of the game. I'm not sure if he was just trolling and being cancerous or if he legitimately felt that he had to go out of his way and team kill me because I went after a bomber. Well, guess what? Your team's now down an F-84, the fastest 7.0 jet in the game. So, you know, hats off to you, Six, because if, if I ever see you in a match again, I'm just going to instantly team kill you. I do not care. 
and seeing him in an opposing match would just be the, the most glorious, the most glorious thing. But I'm not motivated by revenge, and like I said, going back to my original point, I can understand what Orange was saying. It, the, the state of the game has just changed too much, and, you know, it's a shame, because we've lost arguably one of the better YouTubers. The, the content was absolutely amazing, and I thank you for, you know, just entertaining me over all these years. Because I used to come home from back when I was at school and, you know, just come home and sit down and watch a fucking video. And it was so much fun. It was incredible. The stuff that he'd do with this game. It was like an artist. In fact, it was an artist. Well, I think that's all I really had to say on the subject. I knew I wanted to make a video about it and I've got nothing really to contribute. I just, I'm just sort of weirded out by the whole thing. But then again, it is understandable. It's just still weird. I don't know. Well, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It has been your boy Garage Gaming here, and uh, keep up the whole thing where you view my videos, and make sure to also like them. And if you're really interested in the content that I'm putting out, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and you can also hit the little bell next to it, which gives you notifications. If you're really enamored by the videos I make, hit the notifications button, so you'll get notifications and stuff whenever I upload. Alright, I think that's everything. I'll catch you guys next time.